Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. So if you watch my videos for a long time now, you already noticed something different, which is my desktop. It's usually Windows 11 desktop, but now it's Linux, which is weird to see in my channel. But this is actually the truth. I'm not a user of Windows anymore, but a Linux user. And my Switch was a long time ago, and that's why I'm here today. So you my sorry. With Linux. So it's all started back in 2016, 2017, when me and my friends discovered that there is that Kali Linux distro that's help you hack stuff. And it was really that silly to think that by just installing a Linux distro, you'll be able to hack. Uh, you know, back I was a little kid, so I thought, you know, that's really easy and simple. So what we will do is basically install Kali Linux on virtual machines and start using them and hoping that we'll be able to hack somebody who hacks something but it never worked so we gave up on it and they stopped using it for a long time then around 2018 my pc which had a core i5 second gen or third gen which was previously my dad's pc but he gave it to me it was a desktop it wasn't really the best but i did a great job running windows 10 and even running some games back then talking about gta san andreas gta vice city and even dirt 3 if people uh, that love racing games they know that game and even more than that call of duty as well was a game i used to play back then and counter strike as well one dot sex and counter strike source all those games nostalgic for me right now but yeah one day that pc decided not to boot to windows 10 tried to reinstall everything tried to reinstall windows 10 but it didn't work even pulled a cd of mine that i had burned windows 10 on but it didn't want to work and install windows 10 so in here at that point, I decided to do something, which is giving up about that desktop and stop using it. So I stopped using it for about like a day or so back then. And then at some point I was like, damn, I cannot use my desktop. I felt bad for my desktop. I missed it. I usually play games and all of that. And then out of a sudden, I cannot play games anymore. I was like, nah, that's not gonna happen. So I remembered again that there was something called Linux. So I wanted to give it a try. And that's exactly what I did. I used some tool to burn a Linux distro on my USB and plugged it to that desktop, it did just work and installed just fine. But there was only one problem. I wasn't able to find a way of playing games. And what I mean with that is not that I couldn't find a way. I was able to find a way. But the problem is the performance of those games weren't really the best for me. And that was the breaking points for me. You know, if I'm not going to play with that, at least a good 30 to 60 FPS, playing below that is just a horrible idea, especially on a low end computer. After using Linux back then for about like two weeks or so I gave up again but this time Windows did work so I switched back to Windows and used it for a lot of time and then again a lot of years later back in 2023 the same desktop that it had broke down again and didn't want to run Windows so what I did I installed Zorin OS on it but this time my experience was better why because I had a better amount of RAM so instead of 8 I had 16 surprisingly a motherboard like the one I had actually supported so 16 gigabytes of RAM dual channel was enough to give a really good performance boost to that machine so I was able to game do all the things I ever wanted couple months later I upgraded to another desktop which is my currently Core i5 6th gen with 16 gigabytes of RAM upgraded to that one but I gave up about Linux again so instead I had Windows 10. I did everything I could do with Windows, play games, install applications, and all of that. Then again, I had that feeling about Linux. I missed it, you know? I really missed it so much, but didn't really install it until a couple months ago when things just completely changed for me. I started searching about Linux and YouTube, learned a little bit about it, and gave myself a chance to discover this operating system, which didn't really seem that interesting to me at first, because it was too complicated. And of course, for every beginner of Linux, you'll find things complicated, especially when installing packages, doing everything, you know? You'll find a really big wall in front of you that you need to break down in order to move to the next stage and using Linux but if not you might switch back to Windows and you might give up about the idea of Linux but I decided to give myself a chance as I said so I started learning I installed Linux on my machine which had a core 2 dual 8 gigabytes of RAM and daily drove it it was okay it's run fine I gamed on it I did everything on it and immediately I enjoyed it it was fun to use and the thing is the same machine that I had with Linux never 
run well with Windows. Windows 10 or Windows 11, both of them. None of them. Only Windows 7 did run okay on it. But talking about modern Windows, that's something that's in my dreams that will run okay. But with Linux and its magic, it did run just fine. So I was obsessed at this point. So I started installing Linux on more devices, on more laptops, desktop. Even deal booted at some points with my machine, which is my main machine that I use in my videos, which is the Core i5 6th gen with 16 gigabytes on. But that's caused me some booting problems. I have to like add a little bit of stuff here and there in order for Linux to dual boot with Windows. So what I did is completely wiped the disk, installed only Windows 11 on it, and kept it like that as my work machine. But all my other machines currently run in Linux. Only one machine that runs Windows XP for an nostalgia reasons so um, now i could say that you know over the years i kept switching back and forward from linux to windows and from windows to linux and for sure i didn't really suck that much with linux but lately i just fall in love with it especially with the kde plasma at desktop environments which is the one i'm using in front of you guys you could already see and also i can show you my actual desktop environments you know everything you could read yourself i hope i can make it just a bit bigger here you go, just for you to see. So of course, as I said, uh, this one is based on Arch, which is, uh, I believe, better. I can basically say that I use Arch, even that I did nothing that Arch users will do to install their distro, but like, you know, it is what it is. I could say this is a really low-end machine because it only has a Core i5 third gen, but in the same time, Linux doesn't matter what you have, it will just run. And for such an old CPU, and an old laptop from 2012, this is a really amazing performance. I'm really amazed how Linux just turned my machine from a low-end machine to a good machine once again. It gave my laptop a chance, and I'm really happy about it. And not only that one, but every laptop I own that's had Linux on it. Even a MacBook from 2006, I installed MX Linux on it, and it did run just fine. So generally, I could say... I don't really use, as I said, Linux that much and been only using it for a couple months now. But I love it. I'm in love with this. No matter what somebody gonna tell me about Windows, I'm just not gonna like Windows just I used to do. Yeah, maybe the game supports and all of that, but I don't really game that much anymore. I'm mostly, I'm doing some work here and there and working on my projects. So, yeah. So the next time you see my videos, with a Windows background on it, know that I don't really daily drive Windows. And instead, I mainly use Linux. The only reason I use Windows 11 is because, first of all, the resolution. I cannot record in 1080p on that laptop, so I'm forced to record in 1080p only on my desktop. And then here, I'm only limited to 720. And the second reason is my apps that I use to edit and record are not really available for Linux, especially the Adobe one. So uh, that's a break in points, but that's fine. I'll find alternatives really soon. And yeah, that's really it. That is my experience with Linux. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just wanted to talk and uh, say a bit of a story time about my Linux experience and share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, let me know about your opinion in the comments. See you in the next one.